Hi, I'm back. This is better. If not, I'll have to figure out something. Go back, go back. So, another link because I couldn't join the previous one. Oh well. What I'm gonna do is paint more junk. Not that I don't have enough paper, but. You know, I can't resist to not make more. Um, I'll say that you can actually hear me well, hopefully. Bonnie will say, if she's still there. I have to check the, the video. Um, Okay, Bonnie, is it still um, buffering? Bonnie, 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 give me some, give me some juice. Is it, is it lagging? Not lagging is what? Yeah, this is just what I did like a few minutes ago. Because um, if it's lagging, then I can do something else, you know, and just keep setting. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm never sure about those things. So, let me see. Now it's okay. Okay, great. Let me zoom in into the chat. Because I'm blind, but I can actually see the chat if I zoom. Okay, great. That's too big. Um... Anybody want to do craft with me right now? Then uh, I suggest that you get some newspaper and random paints, whatever they are. Um, today I'm gonna do with watercolors and some with watercolors, some with just random stuff that I've got around um, so that I can use stuff and yeah I think that one is posted so hey Queen Bee welcome oh thank you very much oh the music is choppy in the background or you cannot hear me good which one is it? I don't know. You'll tell me. Yeah, in the background I have the music just so I don't die from the, you know, silence. Um, I just, you know, I have a few papers just made day like a few minutes ago and I just thought that maybe since I did all of this this is my new table it's a outside table whatever um, that I'm using now oh I can try to put it a little bit a um, little bit lower if that helps I don't think I can turn it off because I'm gonna die I'm gonna probably die not you know having something in the background um, so I have I can show you something <laughs> for the beginning stage um, I was in um, classes I don't know like in March or February or something like there um, and I did it's not finished but uh, we had to do this one with few colors and whatnot 
this is I think the only thing that I like uh, except those you know um, painted papers that I made so this was the image and this one what I did but it's still missing a lot of things like eyes and stick here so I wanted to show you because this is the only thing that I'm gonna save from that <laughs> that classes um, because I went to the classes because it was free and because I wanted to have some a lot of fun with just with just being there and that's what I did um today I decided I'm gonna use Briar I'll try not to use paint brushes maybe I will I don't know later on I don't know but um like quick application and I have a stack of random papers like here and random magazines and I don't have I'm not gonna use any jelly plate thingy but I can show you some of the pages that I started making let me collect those yeah that that's actually not really nice from YouTube too it, it, it's like uh, you have to Google um, like you have to YouTube everybody um, in the actual uh, chat if you want to see their profile which is um, Bonnie still music too loud I don't know thank you very much Queen B so these are some pages that I made like a few minutes ago there's still some curly ones um just blob some colors on um just the red one this one i really like this is three colored red blue and um yellow another one this is just a mop-up brayer thingy and a calendar sheet so that's that I love these long strips and this is like really um, it was painted before I didn't like it because you can actually see what's beneath so I did some editing so this is what I got so far um, I have a lot of space I made a lot of space just to play and actually put stuff um, around me so I'll just start like right now <laughs> hope everybody's doing fine even though the current situation um, I don't I don't think I'm gonna talk much about that uh, what's going on in the world but um, I'll just try to have some fun this is some what is it called mm, watercolor paper I have some stuff I don't even know what to do with them they're not so nice they're like black and white and this is uh, this is not even mine this was one of the um, people there uh, that were making the same thing that I was but yeah so what I'm gonna do is I have a pile of uh, let me see if you can actually see on the screen I think you can I'm just going to use some color and do this okay and get not so messy because I do have some coverage and I was thinking about doing some yellow um, yellow is regular tempera watercolor in tube however you want it to and I'm just going to go make some love <laughs> with the papers that sounds so weird um they might not all be finished uh with just what i'm doing right now and maybe i need to stand up but it's just the first layer so just gonna make something nice and now i'm thinking about putting some papers on top of it to get some access off to get something similar 
I'm glad I have a lot of space. That's what I needed. I needed just time to make some painted papers. There's so many tags I have. Cover up. Oh yeah, I always put them inside of, uh, inside, uh, on the bottom of the stack of magazines that I have. So they always get really straight. Um, so yeah, oh, I love this one. And if I do have a lot of pools of paint, I just stamp it off somewhere else. Okay, next. I have this something, whatever that is. Just making some color, you know, putting some color onto pages. Basically, that's what I'm doing. And with all the wrinkles and all that, uh, whenever you lift the paper all up, I really like that. And I think I'm gonna go over with another color when it's semi-dry. Um, so yeah, today just painting some junk. Because what I'm gonna do with this paper, like, not painted. I have like piles of newspaper underneath. I think it's like 20, 30 sheets that I just piled. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna use a lot of water because I want vibrant colors. But I need another sheet of paper. Let it dry. I'm using my floor today too. I really like this one. So, how is everybody doing? And they dry really quickly whenever I put some paint off. These are gonna be... It's gonna be interesting at the end to look all of them. like paper stamping <laughs> putting two papers together and you can make actually painted stamp thingy yeah I would go with blue on this one a few blobs hopefully this again is tempera some red on it like this you know just random This one needs something, I don't know what, maybe a little bit of white to do the contrast. 
Let me open this. This one is acrylic. Not a fan of orange, but I'm gonna keep doing something to it. So, let's go back to this one. I'm thinking about, I don't know, purple. We do a little bit of purple. Oh wow, that one's nice. Yep, that one is done, in my opinion. Now I have purple. Hmm. What should I do with this purple? Um, I'm just trying to drop few splatters of paint and just spray it off and do whatever it you know so actually it's pretty simple I don't like to go just one color on paper because I think it makes it really nice when there is few This one is not that bad. My hands on the other side are... Uh, maybe I'll do some blue after. On top. And I don't mind that the paper is not square or whatever, uh, like torn. I don't mind, I'm gonna use it all. <laughs> that bad to use it all. Um. I have some paints that I made few a while ago. Like this is one and the top that I'm using it's maybe somebody recognized this. But it has one side is really um nice um so nothing can stick to it. So I'm using that and I'll just pour out. I did mix them beforehand before I started. Because I wanted to premix stuff. I have a lot of old gesso, homemade gesso, which I wanted to use as well. And that happens too. No problem. Um, I started to mix some of the household paint and some of the uh, varnish paint and varnish that I got in uh, Home Depot store or wherever you call it so I just mixed um, acrylic stuff with actual tempera and got some nice hues so basically anything water-based you can mix it up okay let me see um, purple. Maybe this one a little bit. Meh. Uh, let me see what else I have here. I have some brown paper. Like tube. It's supposed to be a bag or something, I don't know. But it's perforated here in the middle. So maybe I can do some stuff with it. I'll take my water and spritz a little bit on the paper so I can clean the brayer off. Oh, I like you, like you, me that. Hmm. I have a weird spot here. 
I think I'm gonna use a little bit of red on this one. Hope you can see fine. Just dipping in to get a little bit of spots of color. Nothing major. But I really like this. Uh, with these colors than with yellow or green. I did once one with green and I didn't like it. I'll do the other side when this is going to be dry and... Uh... Oh, actually it's perforated like so. Wow, okay. Okay. I have no clue what time it is. have to be aware of the battery okay because I changed the internet so I'm on my phone internet and not on the Wi-Fi we had so much problem with this internet look at this looks yummy at least to me it does I think I'm gonna go with hmm, what about blue if I put a little bit of blue on it. Off the somewhere here. I like it because it, it was crumbled and I love how it looks like. Oh man. That's yummy. Can you see? I don't know if the you can actually see the color, but um, it looks really nice. So I think I'm gonna go brown and uh, really random blue and purple. Is this dry? No, it's not dry, but you know. This is what I've been doing without a brayer. I just used my paintbrush uh, in classes and I did get some results. Ugh. Like so. Another fail, I guess. You know. Uh, with this one, I just put some stripes down and then I smooshed the paper onto another. Um, so I think this one is gonna be... I will add something, but not right away. Not sure which color yet and this is a newspaper and it's really like durable it's not that bad at all because I've I've been like really um, not so gentle with it I would like more blue can I get a little bit more blue Ooh, too much too much So I'm just trying to like make spots or something. Okay, I'll try. Put up the camera. Can you see? It's really wet. I'm not even sure that it's picking the right colors. Uh, maybe I should do some images after so I can actually see. But I love this purple. This purple looks really nice, like yummy. Let me spritz a little bit of this. I have a paper of something. Um, so let me clean the brayer off. And I could put some water on the paper. Oh. Not even sure what this paper is, but I think it's a letter of some sort of something. I want some color. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what I want. Look at that. Not sure how much brayer can you hear. At least it's not squeaking. Oh man, I love how you can actually see two colors, purple and blue. I love it. 
Okay, next. Hmm. I am always like going towards blues and pinks and purples. Um, I'm not sure why, but yeah. I'll make this one a little bit better so I cannot see the butterfly beneath. A little bit of misty and just doing stuff. Oh yeah, oh way better. Even though here I have orange, um, I'm gonna just leave it and uh, maybe I can do some doodling on top. Um, and might be just, you know, tag or a cover or something. Ooh, I like this, this place there. <laughs> um, yeah. I have another baby. Um, They're drying really quickly, by the way. I have like 25 degrees Celsius here, but um, I thought it's gonna be like taking it forever to dry. Um, let me see. I don't think I'm gonna stamp today with anything. Um, I would like to put this a little bit here so I can put some color on the paper. Um, I don't think I'm gonna stamp just because um, my papers need color before anything else. And I think that's just, it takes some time, right? To play. Um, yep, way better. Like from before or now, like before something similar to this but even though this one I do love okay to drying um I have this too let me just get a stack of more papers okay I'll just do that let me sit down let me let me just do that um so i have like really old like this is from at least 10 years old or something i don't even know so and it's semi-glossy but i think it's still gonna be fine uh i'm going to use some white and yellow and whatever just going with the style of the paper let's do yellow I like the pictures uh, beneath if I'm not sure how good is gonna cover this and I have another hmm let me find it I thought it was here oh it's here yes it's here of course it's here I have gouache, tempera, really hard to mix, um, silver, so I just want to do, yeah, it's already there, some, some splotches of, of this, might be too much, we'll see, we'll see how it's gonna go. Oh, it's freezing? Really? Oh, look at that. So anything that I have on this long, huge palette, I'll try to use on another paper as well. So I, because it's not going to dry right away because it's, watercolor and mixed in even that one it's kind of nice I don't know mm. so yeah here is another letter I 
I love the silver with it. But this one needs more than just two colors because it's like all gray or something. I think it needs some blue. I have the cover of what is it? Um, book. So I'll just use it to put some love on it. Okay, next. I think I need to do more blue. Hey, Shelly. This is one of the um, things that I bought for my phone to be up here, which I really much like and uh, I don't know what I would do without it. I just, I'm really happy I got it. And you can put the phone on or the tablet if you wanted to. I love this yellow. I just, I love the yellow and this is all shimmery. I don't know if you can tell, but oh, the yellow, like lemon yellow. It's yummy. Okay, back to this piece. Um, I'm just going to smoosh it all around. And I think you need some black and then it's going to be done. Maybe black my doodling or something, I don't know, or stamping on it. And mixing colors with actual um, acrylic does make it better um, because, you know, watercolors wash. But I don't mind. I would use hairspray on anything to fix it just in case. And I do that. You see? Oh, it's all nice. I can show you the before, before, and after. <laughs> okay, I have to find a place for this guy. Got it. Has a really neat place. Another piece of paper. I know they're like not big papers, but I cannot help myself to not save it. Um, I will ch change the stuff here a little bit so I can probably do a little bit of here. But this guy is pretty much almost. Let me get some blue, blue, pink, pink. Which one? Pink. I'm going to do pink. A few bits of pink so I can cover a little bit. Um, and then maybe a little bit of shimmer too. Oh my god, I love this. Ugh, it's hard to squeeze. It's so thick. Um, I love the silver. It goes really nicely through um, like dark dark backgrounds that makes sense we're just enjoying and doing stuff like this for some people it might be like you know, boring stuff or watch makes something nice like uh, something <laughs> A little bit here because here is like empty and I think I have a bottle of water somewhere here oh my where did I put it ah got it so since this is like I said tempera I can always use a little bit of water on the paper or on the brayer to give a little bit of paint off
I see a dude here, so let me cover the dude guy. And there's a little bit. Squeeze. Oof, that was too much. It was a little bit too much. But I see his head anyway. Wonderful. I love this one. Really do. So I'm going to probably leave it as it is and use it into whatever I'm covering with because it's really weight light. You know, from this to this beauty. Yeah. So let me move it away. Somewhere. And don't mind if they do stuff together. Sometimes you get from another one because you, because you know, it's ripped or it's stuck together. Um, I have this one. Let me see how much I have on my brayer. Well, something. My brayer is so um, shimmery. <sighs> has so many yeah something not much but something not sure do I need to wipe it off no I don't think so okay um I have so many colors here it was fun in the classes when we were mixing colors in a palette I really enjoyed that and we had like six or seven colors and we had to mix just mix them together to get um, whoop to get different different hues or different shades of brown or yeah so it was really awesome I hope I I'm going to be able to do it something similar again because I just I just love it and I got so much so many painted papers you know I think here is uh, something going on um so since uh, acrylic is really expensive so I I got some like way back I got some of the gouache colors and I think it's really like you can spread it spread it out for anything and I love that and I think this is like watercolor semi acrylic thingy I'm not sure but it's matte either way it doesn't matter I'm gonna use everything even if I do that like all day long, it's fine. So satisfying. Um, I'm trying to do this a little bit of lifting. Yeah, I, I went mad in, in the classes. I mean, uh, I did what I supposed to do, like what I had to do there. But most of the time I was just um, stealing palettes from others when they were done with it and they wanted to just um, wash away because they had so much paint on it. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't just let them wash to the sink. You know, a lot of tempera wash. Okay, that baby's done. Uh, next. Next is this one. Let me shift this a little bit around so I can... I'm not gonna get all of the papers in my... on the floor. Oh, I have another one here. This one was from the classes too. Let me think. Hey, Rayleigh! It's like a poster paint 
gouache, tempera, it's the same thing, just different name. I don't know why. Um, Cause here I have, let me show you. Uh, let me see. One of the bottles had like three names on it. So yeah. I was thinking I would go blue. Hawaii blue. What about this one? I'll just uh, squeeze a little bit out. It's so hard to squeeze. Because I have a dark, dark thingy and I want something. Ooh, a left of that. Even if I would just use this. And I think I'm gonna use another color on top. No clue wh which one. Um, blue? Hmm, you can try. Maybe it's too dark. We'll see. It's a mishmash of nice colors. For my liking, I this this table should be like lower because my chair is doesn't want to work with me. No, still refuses to work. Okay. So Bonnie, you could you could just try it with poster paints and brayer, or if you don't have the brayer, oh, use credit card. Look, I'm gonna show you. Even the credit card stuff is awesome because I was using credit card before I had the brayer, and before that I used my paintbrush. I still use my paintbrush though. So, um, just so you know, am I in frame? Even my hands look nice, you know? And I think this paper was actually just using some credit card because uh, in classes I didn't have brayer or... Well, I had paintbrushes, but I was too lazy to use paintbrushes for it. Mm. I want some color and I don't know which one. Okay, moving on. We'll see. I'll get back to it someday. Yeah, they do look nice. I mean, I would say paint is paint. So whatever you have, even if you have some of the paint from when you're uh, uh, putting some paint on the walls, you can use that for anything and everything. Even on a jelly plate, it does work, tried it. So it's just, basically it's pigment and, you know, something that it holds it together. And that's it. And any pigment is good enough. I'm not gonna do it, but I think I'm gonna move on. Oh, I do have some green, by the way. I did not forget about green. But let me see. This is the paper from um, when you buy some, um, I don't even know how you say, um, supplements. You get those papers inside uh, to actually read the stuff off. It's everything. I have like two boxes of paper like this. I'm too slow to using it up. Um, I might... I don't know. Since, uh, like, I opened the Etsy store, like, uh, a month ago or something like that, 
so I'm thinking maybe if I really make a lot enough papers I can actually make some packs with it um, if somebody's going to be interested they can find it in the Etsy store in I don't know, a few days I guess basically all the papers have like Slovenian language and this one is German for some reason um, so that it's going to be there if you would like to have some of the paint <laughs> this is user manual and I want to go purple for some reason where did I got that purple? Hmm. I think it's on the floor somewhere. Oh, it's here, right next to me. Look at that. Looks like two. I'm really glad I have this table. Oh. Yay! Okay, this is the pre-mixed paint. I'm not even sure what it was. Oop. I think it's like a mixture of varnish of some sort and paint from uh, pigment paint when you mix with your paint for walls. It's a mixture of stuff like that but anything water based I just mix it together and it holds really good and makes a really ooh, nice vibrant color which I love oh this color is so yummy that reminds me of funny um, uh, folio what is it um, What is it, Bunny? How is it called? He posted yesterday. Oh my god, my memory. Um, come on. Your purple. Yeah, I'll have to wait for it. Because this is like delay. Um, trying to remember. I think I'm gonna put more purple later on. Or not. Or maybe. These are really nice. Uh, flow, flow, what is it? Flow folders? Flow journals? Ooh, she made really nice ones. Oh my god. Um, and the napkin and with the papers and it was a purplish um, themed, but she put some other stuff into it. I'll link down below when this video is finished or maybe Bonnie you can just put it into the chat you know like old-fashioned way flow is journal yes 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 and I'm going on and on <laughs> just put the link so people can see if I would like to have I don't know I'm just purple and pink today what if I do some green, but let me see. I have uh, darker blue too. Let me do darker blue, but I have to mix it a little bit. This brayer has some stuff on it. Ah, well, fudge. Look at that. Goes everywhere. This is a uh, poster paint, Prima poster paint, gouache, tempera, look, look, fudge, gouache, tempera, poster paint, just in case anybody's wondering, all the same thing. Oh, I like this blue. Which one was it that I wanted to put something on it? This one? No. This one? No. This one. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blue. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's cool. Just 
tint of blue. What I can do with you, paper? Hmm. I will add some blue and some. This is really different consistency, I would say. Wow, that's awesome! Nice! And that's just, you know... <laughs> and what else? I think I'm gonna put some pink. Let me see if I can do the nice stringy. You don't know how to put the link? Oh, there is a lot of things I, you have to learn. I'm not squeezing the bottle, it's just going into the drips. Uh, so that's good. Okay, let me see what I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna spritz a little bit, just I don't know why. Um, let's start bringing this. Let me see what I'm gonna get. Oh, I love how um, you get the... Do I not have any paper more like this? Can you see that? I love that. I love it. It's just, you know, I'm not even trying, and it's, I really like this one. I'm not even trying. Um, what about this? But you kind of need to have a little bit of space, because I couldn't do that on my table. Just, you know, it doesn't go. You can't. I'm trying to find a white paper. Oh, this is my light that I have on the top. You probably are interested in my light, right? <laughs> this is the LED light that I bought to have it on the top. So, I'm going to use some of the paint to cover this baby up. Guys, you have to go live sometime. You both. Uh, that would be really fun for me to watch. Very enjoyable. Okay, I don't know. I'm just going to do this. Because I can still see that it's shining. And I wanted just to take some of the paint off and do whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I... Knock your eye out. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks kind of fun. Hmm. So this brayer has some spots of, oh, this is really uh, moist. <laughs> has some spot, spots of paint on it. I uh, think I'm gonna go a little bit lighter here with blue. And I do have some more blue premixed from I don't know when, which century. Oh my god, they're so... These are so thick. Oh yeah, I could put some yellow here. Get, grab the yellow. Yellow! Got it. Um, this one was varnish from hardware store. Varnish and paint, varnish and white paint. And then I put some yellow tempera in it. 
a lot of paint. But yeah, it goes together just fine. I love this yellow. Well, I'm covering way too much now. G. I'll just spread it off a little bit. Okay, it's not that bad. But I think here was way too dark. You love the yellow? It's like lemons. Like, oh, I'm seeing really nice. Okay, baby boy. Go papers all around. Okay. Let me try. Sometimes I do just cover the images, so I don't need to use many o opaque colors. But um, right now I'm not even thinking about those things. I will retire my card. Yes. Let's try to brayer some more color on this. The one before yellow, which one was it? Jeez. Purple, no, uh, uh, blue, oh, this blue, was this blue? Poster, paint, tempera, gouache. <laughs> hey, Gigi, welcome. Let me see how much juice I still have. 64, well, how long am I up? For one hour and I guess we're gonna do two hours today hopefully if my battery doesn't die before that I love this can you see how oh my god it's just the the yummiest I don't even know how to say this is yummy um, I need to use more of the papers I have so many papers on stacked on it so let me use this as my palette if I'm not gonna take them all away with me and go with more purple this one is really beautiful I have plenty like plenty Stacks and stacks of jars like this uh, where the lid really closes up really nicely and I'm mixing colors inside just uh, you know if I don't like the color then I add white or black um, and then change it completely but you have to be aware you have way way a lot of paint you know so just just do small quantities you need to do small quantities but these are really nice if you do the both sides right you can actually have them for your junk journal which I really like um, and you can write on them or just glue stuff on it and that's another thing that I like um, I did say I'm gonna do green but let me let me finish this newspaper off with something and then I'll do green or something. I don't know what's with green today. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted. Look, that newspaper is so big. It's not even like A, A, A3 is like this, right? And this is like one, two, three, four A3s. Fuck. Fudge, fudge, fudge. I have this one. Maybe I can try this one. Mm. So these are really huge newspapers, but these ones um, you have to actually buy. I get them from I get them from my boyfriend's father or his family, basically. Oh, these two colors look very yummy together. But um, I have like, 
in every newspaper. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do the green. I'm gonna do the green. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do it. It's probably gonna look horrible, but come on, come on. I'm trying to go in the same way that I did before. Well, like so, it looks yummy, but not sure what's gonna happen when I'm spreading it. Well, look at that. Not so bad at all. Not so bad. I think I'm gonna add yellow to it. I love that I can actually use um, bigger sheets of paper and because when I'm using it, I actually cut it down or just tear it down so I have smaller pieces to work with. Uh, when I'm using like to cut or to glue on tags, you know, stuff like that. I think I'm gonna do yellow, a little bit more yellow. What do you say? That's kind of enough. Enough. Um, not sure that I know how to pronounce your name, so I'm not gonna butcher it. Uh, Donovan, hello. Just in case, you know, because I, I, I might, you know, butcher it, and I don't want that. Um, so I'm just gonna call you. Uh, with your last name, I guess. Okay. Let me put a little bit of here. I'm gonna do this one too. So what is everybody doing? Whoop! What is everybody doing? What are you guys up to? Not sure you're painting with me, are you? A little bit of blue, not gonna hurt anybody. <laughs> yeah, just fine, just yumminess. Okay, I'm turning this again and then I'm gonna do small touches because I need to, I need to. Even some places some paint on it still. Okay. Away with you. I'm glad I vacuumed before I started this. <laughs> oh man. Okay. This one is the brush one that I did. I will take some of the this one. Let me see what I can do with you. I think this is a wrapping paper of some sort and has two sides. This is like a glossy one, but um, glue stick really does hold to this really good and this is the matte side i think i'm gonna use the matte side to paint on something but i'm not sure about the color i think i want to try blue i don't know i'll just try it it's not my favorite um paper this one because it's like ugly ugly red i don't know bonnie you might like it. Look, that looks way better. At least for me. I just don't want to paint everything. Let it show a little bit of red. Am I out of focus? can't even say 
let me see. Um, probably not. With my uh, quality dropped, because I'm trying to see it on my computer as well. Just in case, if anything happens. Yeah, I like this way better. Maybe I'll do a little bit of white. What about that? Where's my white? Um, bits and blobs here and there. Just a little bit to make it more different. Oh, this looks like a bird. And a flower. I don't know, I'm seeing stuff now. It's that bad. Yeah, and you could actually make some wrapping paper, so why not? Even with, I did wrap some gifts with uh, painted newspaper and it looked really nice. Okay, off to dry. When I store the papers, I actually, let me show you, when I store the papers, I put them like so, even though that was not like how it was before, and like so, so I can actually see what kind of paper it is when I'm shuffling through. This one needs a little bit of love. Yeah, it's almost noon here too. It's almost noon. Ugh, I had some piece glued. Okay, um, this one I think I would go with a little bit of green. Let's try that. I might make it worse, but I can always cover it with something else. Ooh, I like it, how it's flowing. It reminds me of those acrylics, you know, fluid acrylics, when it's flowing like so, um, which those have different binder in it, so. Oh, I like that. Uh, what is that? Oh, the cover of a huge book. I think I would use a little bit more blue on it. Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> you guys have to try it at least at least once a month. Maybe outside on the on the grass, you could probably get really nice texture with with just grass underneath. Oh man, I love it. I love it. Not Sure, what do you think about it? But I do freaking love this one. Yummy. I'm going through the papers that I almost finished. Yeah, I have nothing in my brow. So next, this was one of my first. Magazine that I actually bought on the street and then I used it in class to put paint on it. And I have oh so many tags with them. I know I have dirty hands, but it's so dry. Like a few days ago, a few days, a week ago, I glued some pages together and made you know something like so. And I think these are acrylics. Just smoosh them with the brayer up and down and everywhere and this is just a tag so this side you can actually see it's multiple multiple pages just glued together because I was cutting some stuff out and I didn't want to just throw them away 
so I did save them and made a bunch of different sizes and shapes of papers and thicknesses I just glued stuff together um, there might be some still I might find them yeah this one is really like um, going really nice I love that and if, if this was edible I would probably have a chunk of it <laughs> I just love 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 colors they're so I don't even know how to say they're just like like food I just love food <laughs> even if I'm not hungry I just love to see good food um, let's do yellow we didn't do yellow for a long time I'll just go around and make some puddles here is like mud going Hear the um, table beneath because it's so. Um, I think I have like two, three more papers on this side. And uh, do I have any more papers? I have some writing here. Wow. Yeah, that's what I like. I like that I can actually see the text through uh, if it's handwritten or not. This is a cardboard thingy, so let me try. Um, I might do both sides, I don't know. We'll see. Just gonna plop them down, 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 down. I'll let it dry and then try to do another side. Okay. This green one is basically finished, I would say. I'll just away. So the what is it called in English? The watercolor paper um, has the top where actually is a sticker for some reason. I don't know why, but when I found them, I grabbed them uh, at the class and I think I have two or three and I just used a little bit of paint to make it nice. This one is really poor looking. Let me clean off my brayer. Oh, look at the green, 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 green. That's what I wanted. Even thinking so that's really good uh, was I would like to have which one this one oh this is a long one okay <laughs> it's 
so nice. This one is so nice. But it's in blobs. It's okay. I love the color. I think this was the envelope of some sort. Experimental maybe, I don't know. Or I didn't put it together. It doesn't matter. Paper's paper. I'm gonna keep it. might be really messy at times but it looks like oh I love these two colors together oh man but it looks like looks like that it's gonna be just fine yeah even on the other side it's a lot of blue Yeah, you need to. Rails, it's like pink or like reddish pink, like magenta. You're good. Magenta and, and blue and you can make whatever you want. You know. Ooh, I could do some black spots too. Hmm. I'll think about that too. So this one is majigged like so. Um, I'm thinking maybe to, hmm, use a little bit of white. Let me do a little bit of white just to make it uh, not so dark. I don't know, I think it's dark. Some splotches here and there. Um, Donovan, I think I'm going to use them in covering the junk. Um, the junk. I have a lot of packaging and um, clothing tags, like a lot, like. A lot. When I say a lot, it's like, you know, something like this. This was a tag. And I have another one. And then something like this. You know, just making tags and covering maybe um, the journal page or doing a collage. Oh, that one wasn't, you know. This is a painted cardboard that I actually put the layer off and put it on the back of the tags. And this one too, this is like newspaper and I made a tag so you can write on the back. Something like that for now uh, but like it's it's like a scrapbook paper whatever you use scrapbook paper you can use this for right there isn't any difference and you can doodle on top to have something different if you wanted to you're not limited to you can do whatever really or just to make wrapping paper for or something. I I made a lot of envelopes too with painted uh, magazines because this is um, newspaper but if I do have newspaper then I just double it up and it's just fine for mailing envelopes. Okay, come on. Mm 
but for me it's like i wanted to use stuff up because i have some so much so that's newspapers and magazines and oh look at these these are the cutouts from the calendar and our white strips yeah what i'm gonna use white strips and they're like a little bit glossy so i'm just going to do something like this let me put this aside a little bit so you can actually see and i decided i'm gonna go with oh, something went down i'm gonna put oh i understood that i'm gonna put some color on them and some of the pink say that so i'm gonna use this one too to make small journal maybe you could do that oh I love that I love these two colors together so yummy so you get like yummy strips and yeah collage collage for sure could be one of the things you see that mm. <laughs> yeah um i will just put them onto the cardboard if they curl i don't matter it doesn't matter i'll just uncurl them later and usually if something is glossy i use like um what is it called uh, clear gesso I have a homemade one um, and it's working just fine not a problem at all so that was purple and pink again and I do have more strips so this one could be this is the top of it where they were just white strips and I have this for like what least eight months so I had to make something I have to make something with them so I'm gonna go with blue let's do blue and you can use any any paper strips like so just be gentle you know uh, don't go really nuts um, with a brayer up and down up and down just do it gently and um, I don't know I kind of want to do purple again. <laughs> Just a little bit of purple. Okay, I have enough of purple. I had a bunch of small strips from the book books um, where you cut off mm, the sides. And I did align them and just paint them with a brush and that works too if you want it that way or you can use a brayer and be messy and just there is less control in having a brayer or, or smooshing papers together which is great for me I like that so I don't need to think Purple, okay. Basically, anything goes. Anything with purple is so nice. <laughs> I'll have to make more of this kind of purple. Okay. And this one. I think I'm more messy when uh, I'm doing a live than when I'm not. I tend to be more careful. But I do have another card stuck. And these you can just chop down to tags or whatever or make a cover.
Yeah, Donovan, you can you can like make whatever you need. You can make it like from what you already have. I bet you do have paints and stuff. So, and there are somewhere on the channel there are, there are the videos that I made uh, to make your own scrapbook paper because I was making a lot of those, um, painting the paper and then embellishing it so it would be pattern paper, like you can actually buy stuff like that. So you can use that too and use your stamps and whatever it's like, whatever you have. And again, you're not limited to. The color that I'm gonna collect, uh, I think I'm gonna use the blue one. I haven't used this one for a long time. I didn't pick the gold though, which I think I should, but I didn't. Well, now it's too late. Now it's too late. And since sometimes I'm not sure if this is gonna reactivate a lot whenever it's... Because it's like tempera, wash, whatever, poster paint. I just lightly spray it with... Um, what is it? Hairspray. And usually always work just fine. Um, and I do it for anything that I might not be certain of that it's gonna be fine for collaging and stuff. Uh, let me put a little bit of something. Ooh, silver. Silver, baby, silver. This is so thick. I don't even know why. Maybe it's old. They sold old one. <sighs> Can't even see the when did they make make it? Silver makes everything better. I love the shimmer. Okay. I have some of the stuff like this that I wanted to paint. Um, let me see if I can use. Yeah, there is no. This is actually from the. All this store, yeah. Um, lovely lady that is giving sometimes stuff away, um, like stuff like this and newspaper, and you know, she actually put that inside. So I'm trying to figure out which color, which color. I just don't know which color. Silver. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna go with this one. Okay, let's try silver. Silver and white. Let's see what I'm gonna get. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna cover everything. color is really too bright for me but I think could be nice now a little bit better still orange can you see Ugh. could be worse I'm gonna say could be worse And even small size paints can last you for a long time if you're making papers like so. Yeah, I think I like this way better. Sometimes it happens when whenever I'm not satisfied with how some papers look. I don't use them. 
and they're just sitting there. Um, then I have to come back and do something with them or repaint or add something. Um, green with green. It's a little bit green. for some reason call me crazy but I would like some blue oh yeah way better for some reason I like it way better this I would just make it a tag or a you know I like that um, the bright is popping up uh, so nicely uh, I like the green way better than orange. I'm not so keen with orange for some reason, but I know a lot of people like orange. Well, I'm not that people. Um, let me think. What about black? I haven't tried some black, because uh, I don't know where it is. Oh, got it, got it, got it. I'll try some black on this one. Just to make some pattern. Um, so you can still see the text, but it's like muted down. One sec. But really cool. And you can still stamp this one. Um, I'm kinda, I don't like to stamp with acrylics or, I don't know, I just think it's way messier for me personally, but I think some enjoy it. Oh, I butchered this. Pretty much. I have some more purples that I want to add some grunginess and yeah I could actually use brown too why not oh I didn't know I'm moving the camera so much nobody said anything I'm seeing in the I'm looking how my camera is moving so I guess it was moving like so and it's enough for me I don't need any more stuff to Am I, um, like, breaking? Losing the internet? Am I? I have a bunch of these here that I wanted to add some spots, random spots, to make it more yummy, more interesting, less boring. kind of poor one. I think I'm gonna put some more things on it. Yeah, that one's fine. Oh, we have this one. Mm. I don't even know what to put on it. Let's do green. A 
the grunge it up. Yeah, way better. Let me do the edges too. Oh. Okay, let me put it aside. Going through the pile of the four. Oh, that was that envelope. So I wanted to do another side. Ah, let me see. Yeah, I'll do like blue. Let me move this a little bit so I can get more of the paper painted. I'll use blue, blue and a little bit of pink on my palette. Whoop, that was a little bit too much. Oh, time to use it up. I wanted to just do the light highlights of it because I think it brings out um, all three colors. The brown too, for some reason. I don't know if you can actually see the real colors. I don't think. I don't know, I'm just mixing something on my rare. I love how the texture is like crumply texture. See what else I have here. Oh, I would use that yellow again. I have these strips too. Bunch of these strips with numbers. Um, so I did use these numbers for like a fake washi. I just cut it um, and I put on to a tag or something. So you can use that as a fake washi or for your uh, what is it called? Um, glue thingy <laughs> so I think I'm gonna use this side this time and um, just paint a little bit to have more strips I'm not sure if those are dry but they flatten out really nicely let me show you the strips from the calendar you remember you know they actually flattened uh, out by themselves when they're totally dry. So, oh man, look at that. Oh, oh, no merging, no merging. Just be by yourself. I might be off the screen though. And I love that there is a little bit of background to it, so it's not stark wet. And uh, I can actually build up. Is that what I wanted to say? I don't know. Let's see. Hey, Krista, welcome. Uh, I need a little bit of blue somewhere. Oh, 
oh yeah way better way better even though that one like i'm gonna save this one maybe i'll put some something on it i'll save it this one is totally covered so i think i need to put something more to it oh wow i have paint everywhere when did that happen well i'm already covered in all the paint why not more and i will really nice uh, i will um wash it off really nicely when i'm finished um i don't know i need something i need something bright er. Okay, that's way better. So any strips, you can paint them. Let's go, babies. Let's go. To dry. To dry. Okay. I have a lot of uh, paint here, so I'm just going to braid it off. Maybe some papers are stuck. Nah, not really. Could be worse, I guess. Splotches of color. This rolling tool it's brayer uh, I got it on um, Aliexpress it's cheap like two two dollars or something like that but they have different ones this is like my sixth one or fifth one because this is plastic which i very much like better than before where it was a screwed in and it was this stuff was wood. i didn't like those because it kept on kept on um un unscrewing <laughs> it was screwing <laughs> it was unscrewing all the time and i don't know what why I glued it together and still it didn't work so I got this one instead so the plastic one is really nice and I think you can pop it off ugh, when you're cleaning it so you have the head just by itself but it's really cheap you can check in an Aliexpress store so this one is so soaked with one side i'm just going to put put it on the floor oh it has more paint on the other side you wonder why just spread it off okay next wow so good i even have some paint on my legs <laughs> Oh man, that's too blue. I think I need a little bit of white here for some reason. Let me see how that's gonna work. Yeah, a little bit better. I'll let it dry and then. Try to do something with it. Okay. I have a pool here. So I have filled him in this. I'm sitting down, so it's hard to reach. Nicer and nicer. 
and stickier. Okay, I'll find another paper. This one, for example. Let me put more junk on it. Is this junk too? Yes. So, I do have a notebook with a cute little penguin on top. This one has like thicker pages than the one that I was using before, but I do have the, the... This is what I'm trying to say that whenever you do the kissing, stamping, two pieces of paper together when one has a lot of paint on it, or at least some paint on it, that it's wet, um, you can get something like that. Let me see my brayer to I'll spritz the paper to see if I have some paint on it. Oh, look at that. That is pure love. I love it. Takes the moist out of the paper and reactivates what it was on my brayer or it's still so shimmery. <laughs> Next page. So yeah. I, a lot of times when I'm using brushes, I use these pages to wipe my brush off to make it, uh, to make it something like so. Um, I don't even know how to say it. Like not so intense. But with this, I use a lot of water so I can still see the, the grid beneath. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I should change the stuff. And it's nice to have a big table, for sure. Junk mail has really nice pages. I think I might save this one. I think I'm gonna save this one. I have a drawer full of stuff like that. And I think I'm gonna save this one too. Could be something nice from it. This is really, really um, not glossy one. So it's really good. Even if you have glossy one, you can cover it up. What if I open this? And paint the ladies. I need some white, this is too dark for me. You're welcome, Rails. You are totally welcome. Hope you guys are doing some crafting, not just watching me. Um, I'm gonna use more blue. Um, I am using, like I said, tempera or uh, gouache or um, poster paint. That's all the same. So basically, um, watercolors in tubes, like. And yeah, I think um, poster paints are way more common uh, way to say, to use the word with these paints. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna do each page. I like this one. Okay, floor you go. I like them because they are vibrant. They're not like those palette watercolors they're really vibrant and this is really way better but if you don't have um, many poster paints you can use the household paint um, and mix it like the white household paint and just mix it with any pigment that you have either is watercolors or um, like in tubes poster paint darn it 
or you can try to mix it with um, food coloring. I know those are really popular too, so you can try that too. You just need pigment. This is really um, a lot of paint on it. So this is one of the colored papers. Let me see what I can do with it. Some pattern stuff. Yeah, you see, this is something that I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use a little bit more blue on it or something, because um, it's missing. Something is missing to it. Um, so yeah, you can use anything and water, like whatever is water soluble, water based. I guess even if you grind the chalk down really finely, you could mix it with paint. Why not? But it has to be really, really... Or eyeshadows. Those are good too. But you, you would have like more shimmery paint. Um, but if you really don't have anything, then use PVA glue, like a wood glue and whatever, like whatever you have to use because the PVA glue is a binder I think I'm gonna use a little bit more of this one just a blob one blob not more okay two blobs fine with me I have it on here on the corner I don't know if you can see but kind of like it to mush this one on it too yay this one looks really nice with the yellow underneath okay floor you go I shouldn't be like rolling anywhere because then I'm gonna roll the papers with my chair Oh man, I have so many papers here. Where are the junk mail? Here. Look, Bonnie, it's junk mail. I'm going to go with blue. There is some blue on it. And I don't like whatever colors are on, on it. I just go with whatever I want to be and if it's really dark you can use like white paint or like I said household paint and put it a little bit on so if you make it lighter and then just use whatever you want and a little bit of white to make some contrast and then I think I'm gonna put some I don't know reddish Reddish, maybe reddish. Let's try reddish. Big blob. I have to check. Look at that. Look at that. I like these papers are really thin, like newspaper or even thinner. I don't know. It, it's really thin, and I like that because whenever I collage something or if I put paper over packaging or something, like. Oh, I did this. This is actually just gessoed um, this page and I put some stuff on it, make a pattern and circle it and stuff like that. And these are just circles that I made that I cut out and I put on to a packaging. So it could be a tag, it could be a, you know, whatever you want. And it's really nice to glue with glue stick too. Like really, really, really nice. You don't need to fight with it or anything because it's so, so nice paper. Even the glossy one is nice to use. I think I'm gonna use this side too. I'm not sure if that's the next page, but it looks like it is. Have a great day too, Gigi. Really nice to see you. 
Bye bye. A little bit of this one on the purple. And I know I can actually see stuff like it was there before. I'll use more purple. a little bit more purple. Well, for me, I don't mind getting dirty and all that since, you know, I'm right home. And I think I did use some uh, gloves in previous but I just um, think like better if your hands don't dry out really quickly. A little bit of white, just to teeny bit. Maybe it's gonna be worse now, I don't know. But I think it's way better. Because it's like that color is not so strong and it makes a mishmash of colors floor next oh i have purple more purple oh my god autocorrect why don't you turn that off sometimes it just turns on on my phone for some reason i don't even know why put too much white on it I like I like to take the comic section from new um, even though sometimes it's not funny but like how it's um, drawn I really like that so what color pink let's go pink I think I'm freezing a little bit don't you think Let me see the the battery is 28. Well, a few more few more minutes, I guess, and then probably I'm gonna just shut down. But I think I'm gonna continue to use the magazines um, next. So I have I don't know a bunch of stuff done. Because I have so many boxes to just use up stuff and so many boxes of this paper, you know, oh, I love that. So one way or another, I will go with blue. Let's do blue. I like that I don't need to go like one color all the time. So I can change it whenever I want. Um, when I didn't have so much space, I had to go like a few colors, like two, three colors, and then, you know, you're out of space. But today I set it up really, really, really just to do this till I don't know when. Till meal time, I guess when I have to make the meal or when my boyfriend comes home probably you know this I just I'm so surprised each and every time when something like this I would never ever ever use what like you know there's nothing on it but this oh my god like in a heartbeat I would use this and I think I need a little bit of pink or purple on it let's do purple oh whoa. So that's what I'm trying to say and, you know, encourage people to use more of the junk and to create something nice and beautiful. Yeah, maybe some are not so nice and cool, but you can make a jelly plate. Rails made our jelly plate um, like two videos ago, if something like that. So I will link that below. So if you are watching the replay, you can actually watch or rails maybe you can add video to the chat too 
she made like a huge giant um, jelly plate with packaging and I have to try that I'm just like brayer I want to do that for the outside so I can actually uh, put the newspaper onto the lines clothing lines is that the word I think it is so and those are really awesome too um, to make prints with jelly print you can play with more colors because you know you can you can make patterns you can you can use whatever you have to make stencils and stuff I mean it's really cool uh, so I think my next one is gonna be uh, I don't know if I should go up. I don't know um, next one is gonna be to use that to make that jelly plate and because I have tons of newspaper of course of course and like way more waiting for for me to pick up <laughs> this one is kind of finished I think I would use a little bit of blue but I'll just leave it for now and let it dry um, if you have some of the paper that you have notes of, you know, something like this, you can use that too in your art. Um, it's a writing, even if it's yours and you know what it means, you can just spread it off or use anything to put some color on it. It's a nice page, you know, if you wanted to use it in your junk journal. You don't even know what it says because it's paint over it. It's really hard to see, hard to read, but I love it. And I don't mind. I really don't. I have a few more. Um, but I wanted to use the paint that is... Let's do green. I do have some green, but not so much. I think I'm more like a bluish, purple, pink lady. Why not two of them? And I think I'm going to use some of the... Well, I guess I can go with pink over it. Those two goes to go together, I guess. I just need to clean my brayer off a little bit. Welcome, Donovan. Um, have a really nice day and uh, enjoy. And hope you're gonna do some crafting today. Sometimes paper is stuck together, but I don't know. The newspaper is kind of really durable, or how to say. It's very rarely that I um, that they are stuck together and I cannot pull them apart. So, yay, even though it's raining. Oh, uh, next color. Green. Next color. I have a, a lot of them here. Maybe I do black. Let's do black. Just putting the putting it in yeah I want to cover this Man. And I think I'm gonna go over with a lighter color when it's going to be dry. Multiple 
edible stuff. And I use this for like, um, so you can write on the other side of whatever or in journals. Everything is good for junk journals, believe me. Anything. Um, I think I said pink, didn't I? I think I did. I said pink. I'm gonna put a blob on Mario. Looks like Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it should be more light, I guess. Do not look like Christmas. Oh, this is way better. Come back, paper. Ah. Yeah. So less Christmas, more, more like you know, whatever that's supposed to be. I love that I don't need to use a palette or something. That everything that I make, it just goes on two papers which is fun for me uh, I think here and here is a little bit of white I wanted to color in but otherwise I think this paper is just fine it looks good in my eyes I have this one that I wanted to do something with and I didn't finish. Um, maybe I could do some purple. What about purple? Just somewhere else. Sure, why not purple? I have some acrylics that are really transparent, which it's kind of hard to use sometimes, and the colors are like weird, not so vibrant, like off tones, I would say. And I don't like those very much, but I think I have to mix them with something so I would get something else instead. This is semi glossy, by the way. But I think, oh, come on, looks yummy. <laughs> but it's nothing really. I can't even tell what it's, what was this from. Um, let me see. I'm gonna prayer this off. I love this mess here. Let me turn this around so I don't I don't make it worse because it's really nice. Oh yeah. Um I'll just plop it somewhere here. Like so. Hey Maria. How are you doing? Bye, Krista. Oh my God, I'm not I'm not keeping up with the chat at all. Even though it's so big, I'm just to win <laughs> in the mood with these papers. I think I'm gonna use another color here, and then what I can do is just chop it off, uh, <laughs> chop into small pieces, and have it as a tag or something, or even a cover. It can always be a cover. Anything, anything, anything would go. Okay. Next, I have a brown, another brown paper. 
this is a little bit different color than before so I think I would go with can't even remember what I used before I'll go with blue and I have some pink there and I'm gonna mm, mix them together oh look that's cool and some pink yeah um some more pink I just need like a pop of color a little bit you know what I mean just something like so oh yeah that's what it needed just a little bit just you know cuz I can see the contrast so much better with the brown beneath I don't know I don't know how to say it but I like it I like it like that and I think it's gonna be more um, brighter when it dries okay this one is way too soggy here I will change the scenery a little bit just so I can paint it more I'm gonna cover this lovely man way better <laughs> oh. and I think it's uh, torn a little bit but it's all good I'm gonna use a bunch of stuff I'll take this so what else I think I'm gonna use it's on the floor again I think I'm gonna use the blue and a little bit of that white it's almost empty I could use like I have the household paint but it's I have to um, take it out of the big jar thingy um, but I'm too lazy so I'm using the regular white one ooh that one looks really nice can you see it will just leave as it is I will cover the top and then I'll put it aside to dry and then I will go back and do the the other side of the paper because the paper is kind of huge huge to work with I think I just put the whole paper into the paint yes let's do the back side too Yummy, yummy, yummy. Do it for me. I need some pink on it too. Here I was using like browns and stuff. I think I'm all in paint. No, it's fine. I do have some browns like acrylic but I never use them except for painting um, dyeing some papers but you know maybe I should use that one too I love this mess. I'll put it aside to dry a little bit and then I usually come back to the same page and try to do more of the stuff on it. Um, maybe I should just do swirlies or something. 
Let me see. Uh, I'll do blue swirlies. If I can find my brush. Yay! That was not a good one. Swirlies! Good morning. Some swirlies, and I think I'm gonna just go over it with one um, with pink or something. with pink without adding any white so it's gonna be more transparent I'm doing like sixes six number six um, maybe I need another color I'll use this one or maybe I can use black. Where's black? Mr. Black, come back. So I'll put one here. It's just sixes or like a flower shape, just making... I don't even know how to say. When you cut it down, it looks really, really good because you have just bits and pieces of something circu circular. You didn't even, you can't even know what it is. I want to cover these eyes. I actually don't like to see people's faces and you know on the newspaper, so I just covered it up or cars or stuff like that like images are like no no for me except if they're like interesting but those I would probably just cut out so I think I can put another one here I'm not sure that's in frame this is more like dry brush already whatever so now I'll put you to dry I have to check where I have any space because now that I'm sitting it's uh, uh, it's everywhere on the floor yay so I'm trying to remember what else did I do because it's kind of hard to think what shapes you want to do when you're starting to do something like that to make it a little bit different to have like some shapes in the shapes in the background you know I think I may, I'm gonna make some shapes and then do the prayer stuff covering the face I love the puzzle thingies. I think this is supposed to be like gesso, black gesso, but it reacts with water whenever I uh, apply glue or something over it. So, I don't know. I would say it's like a poster paint or something. Or worse. Yeah, this one's looking better. And this is the exact same thing I was doing in classes. <laughs> to use as quickly as possible the paint that um, people were throwing away. I just I just couldn't it, like why guys why
he squeezed out so many so much paint and then oh it's the wrong color I'm just I, I need to clean my palette so yeah that was hard to watch so I did manage to save some paint I'll let it dry and then go over with a lighter color maybe brown maybe I can do shades of brown with brown like this one you see this is what we were mixing let me see the clock and the battery it's 13 13 percent well probably for 10 more minutes and then it's going to chop me off but even if it does you just you know I'm just letting you know so you know in case so another trick that I trick that I kind of found is um, using the brush as a stamp and I was just making marks with it dipping and making marks like um a duck like a duck would walk onto the paper i don't even know how to say that but whatever you're using um for your painting you can use this way too to make some shapes and i'm really trying to be random here and just trying to make some patterns you know like so you can even see it's really reflective um what else i'm trying to find the spots that are kind of empty um i was doing a lot of um this kind of uh excess because like whatever is really comfortable doing with um with a brush i was doing it And like three or six, uh, three or seven. Here I should put another one, I guess. Um, just, you know, playing, making some patterns out. And uh, I even used some of the, what is it called? Hmm. How do you call that? Where where are they? Uh, like inks. This is um Oh man. What is it called in English? Like ink. <laughs> I'll show you. We used some of those too to just um, dip our brush, like thin brush in and squiggling and doing whatever with them because it's really like liquidy watercolors but when they dry they are actually set um, like permanent. So I really like those to use to make smaller marks and shapes and whatever to make nice papers and I think you can make flowers like so with the brush as well okay what else do I have any more space um, maybe I'll just make some stuff doesn't need to have any reason why it just is where it is I'm gonna put it aside this is like an old piece um, maybe I should change the brush where's my water <sighs> maybe I can make a few squiggly lines with with that too okay let me see do I have five yeah, I do have some more juice. I will retire this for now and just grab 
some small brush. I have a bunch. I have a bunch here, but I think the best one would be maybe something like this. This is really thin. And I'll take the ink um, that is green. Ooh, I love this green. And I'm just going to do stuff like it is now. And not worry about anything. Oh, did I mix? I think I did. It's semi dry here. So, you know, small stuff and same things that I was doing before, but you can actually really enjoy just making marks. And it doesn't really need to be anything specific. I even went to uh, Google and tried to find some um, doodle images. So I'm not thinking about what to do. Um, you know, you could probably make some mushrooms as well. It just depends what, whatever you want to do, you know. And it doesn't need to be... Because if you're going to cut it down, then it's, it doesn't matter. It just needs to be something. That doesn't look like mushroom. <laughs> or cheese. I know, I'm just, you know, making stuff up. But, yeah. Or V's. I really like to make V's. Just makes a... Uh... Oh, maybe I can find some of the... You can use any pen as well if you wanted to. Or... Um... What are those called? Like gel pens? You know those gel pens that are really a lot of colors and glittery and all that? Those that you can actually get for really cheap. And um, I've never seen a lot of people using them anymore. Um, I'm gonna try to find... I know I have a mess here. Uh, the paper. Wow, I have so much paper here. I got them. Uh, come on. Okay. Let me put this aside a little bit. I don't know how much juice we have, but I'll just show you and then if it's there, it's there. So this, as you can see, there is pieces of papers glued together. That's what I was talking before. Because I didn't want to trash because they were like bigger. Uh, and it's magazine. And I did this. This was one. Oh, I have another magazine. Oh, another magazine. And this is another piece of paper that I just painted. And this is another... Um, this is actually cover from the magazine that was really glossy. Um, and I stenciled over it. And I think they're really cool, cool looking. I don't even know if the phone is picking it up or not. And then when I was talking about doodling, I know I have this baby. I'm on 8%, darn it. And then I have more stenciling again using just piecing paper together. I love this one too. And more stenciling. I used some of the papers already, so they're so small. And this. And if I would have more pieces of paper, I would just glue them together to get a bigger piece. And then putting um, paint over with a card. And this is like dend dendritic thingy, because I was stamping it off with some foam. So, yeah, basically you can do that. I have another one, I can tell you what I did here. This is the inside of the envelope that I put some shimmer paint. I don't even know how you say that. Um, it has bits and pieces of sequence inside. But I love that. Uh... Yeah, so today we made a lot of stuff, basically. 
And I think I'm gonna keep on making it um, until I use the pile that it's here um, to the, you know, or until I drown into in painted paper. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, it took me a long time to start making more paper, even though I have so much. I can never get enough of these. And I think this one is gonna just stay as it is. This we made together. So yeah, um, uh, I think there will be way many more uh, envelopes um, in the future too. So, because I would like to use stuff up. Oh, I have a pile of envelopes to reuse. So, I hope you actually had some fun watching this and making, you know, nice things with me and some painty papers. Hope you did some painting while I was making some. And uh, I think the battery is gonna let me go just, I don't know when. But um, I really enjoyed this and I hope the next time is going to be me doing something with the papers. So you can actually see what I'm going to do or, uh, you know, yeah. I'm really glad you were all with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. So I hope you all have a really nice day or evening or night, whatever time of the day is there. And I really appreciate each and every one of you and thank you very much for staying with me and uh, yeah have a great time happy crafting bye